In this video, I will show you how to use and manage AI models locally for free. To do this, we will install LM Studio on Windows. I will also show you how you can easily download different language models and start them as a local server. LM Studio is an easy to use desktop application for experimenting with local and open source large language models. We download LM Studio from the official website lmstudio.ai. I've also put the link to the website in the video description down below. We want to install LM Studio on Windows, so we click on the button Download LM Studio for Windows in the middle. Afterwards, an installation file is downloaded, which we directly start after the successful download. After a few seconds, this window will open. You may have to fight your way through a classic installation dialog, but I don't think that this will be a problem for you. In the overview is a field in which you can search for various open source language models, such as Llama, which I've already presented to you in another video, which you can find in the video description down below. In addition to Llama, there are other language models such as Mistral, Falcon, etc. Let's just search for Llama again and we will find what we are looking for. There is a variety of releases and versions to choose from. Here you can see whether these are likely to work or not. The larger the models are, the better they usually work. But since I just want to show you how to download and start large language models in LM Studio, we will select this Llama version with a size of only about 2.8 GB. Click on Downloads to start the download. Here below you can see the current download progress. Once the download has been successfully completed, click on the arrow symbol here. This will open this window here in which you can select a language model and start a server in the background. How does it work? Well, you select one of the language models that you have downloaded and load it into LM Studio. After that, you can start a server that runs locally, that means only on your computer or in your network. This makes the language model available as a service. You can then access the language model in the same way as with the OpenAI API. Ok, let's just do that. Click on the drop down at the top and select a language model. For example, I choose this one. Afterwards, click on the green button Start Server. You will then be asked whether you want to allow public and private network access to LM Studio. We click on Allow. Great, now the large language model is running in the background. Below you can see the logs that are generated during the server's runtime. But how can we access the server and the large language model Llama running on it? It's quite simple. Click on the Python tab at the top of the example client request window and copy the code. If you have not already done so, download the OpenAI library for Python. To do this, start the CMD and enter the command pip install openai. But at the beginning of this video, I said that we don't use their API. Yes, that's true. We only use the openai client. We don't need an API key, nor do we need to have an openai account. The advantage of this approach is that we can develop apps with the OpenAI API and then later only have to replace the model with our local model. As you probably know, the freely available large language models are not yet as good as those from OpenAI and users can then decide for themselves whether they want to use GPT or a local language model from LM Studio. Now we create a new Python file, which we call llama underscore test.py for example. We copy the code from LM Studio into this file and execute the program with the command python llama underscore test.py. If we now switch back to LM Studio, we can see that the request has actually arrived in the log window. A response from the language model is displayed in the Python program. Well done! If you are wondering why the AI introduces itself in rhyming form, let's take a closer look at the code. There is a system instruction that requires exactly that and a prompt that asks the AI to introduce itself. 
If you want to know how you can program a local AI assistant, then watch my Python tutorial where I use the knowledge of this video to create my own local AI assistant. I've linked the video in the description down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.